Defensive back, Ronald Darby, sitting live in the Stoneyard Brewing Company hot seat. It's not that cold, you guys. Like, it's Tommy a little and chilly. Cold. It's a little chilly. Like, you cut, Ronald, you're wearing sweatpants. Uh-huh. You got the hoodie on, the hoodie up. You're, yeah. you're like huddled up all chilly over here. I got Tommy sitting next to you, all five foot four of them. He's got his old man <laughs> it's logo like 56 jacket. It's like degrees when I got up this morning. Okay, it's no. August. <laughs> Bro, give me a break. And I don't know how to dress because sh- I want to wear shorts. Because you know, it's, it's going to be like 90 degrees in another hour. Yeah, Ronald, it's funny. You see the defensive backs coming down, and they all look like you, all huddled up, right, all bundled uh-huh. up. And all the big, big bumpy, ugly guys coming down are in cut-off T-shirts and yeah, shorts. Yeah, they're all insulated. It's because really because the meeting rooms be cold. So when we go to meetings, sitting around, they be having the AC blasting, and we be in there freezing to death. And I learned my lesson a couple of days, so today I came prepared. Mm-hmm. No, uh, we, uh, we saw you come down. You got a backpack. Uh huh. It's full of candy. It's a clear backpack, <laughs> crammed full. Of, it almost sounds like you went trick or treat <laughs> no, on the way down here. It's full of Skittles. <laughs> How no. many Skittles do you eat in a day? I don't eat that. Well, I eat a good amount, and then I share with you know some of my teammates. Okay. It's good to get a little sugar rush in the meeting so you can focus okay. better. Well, but okay, but is that a Skittles backpack like with a Skittles logo on it? When you buy that yeah. many Skittles, you get a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, did you like save up all the UPC logos on the back of it to send away for the Skittles backpack? No, nah, actually, Skittles sent it to me. So. Told you. That's all. Damn it. Very cool. Like you know, the millions of dollars is cool. Getting to play in front of seventy-two thousand people—that's cool. Mm-hmm. People wearing your shirt—that's cool. Free Skittles is awesome. Like, yeah. it's, 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 right? Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that tops the list. It is weird, though. Like, the, the candy has been like the theme of the week here at Bill's Camp. Preston Brown, linebacker. Does yeah, he Preston. hides it on his body. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. he wears a hoodie just to put candy in the pockets when you guys are practicing. See, I never knew that at all. I thought he was just doing it to lose weight. but. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not common to have candy on you on the field. Uh, nah, I, okay. I usually don't do it. I do a lot of running, but he also do so. Man, has this game changed? Because if it was the 1980s, it'd be bags of Coke. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, guys funny, are getting right? busted for having drugs. Now it's candy. Well, but it's weird. Like, So you don't have any of that. Like, you hear about the guys that they'll like, stuff candy in their socks. Like the candy bar in the sock was always a standard thing. Yeah. You got nothing on your person. Nope. Not at all, to be honest. Do you eat during a game? Remember Carl Pickens, Bengals wide receiver, used to eat two hot dogs. He would have someone bring them down to him at halftime and eat two hot dogs. That sounds really healthy. Well, a couple of hot dogs and it hit the floor. Nah, I, don't, I don't think I could do that eat towards the game. I eat a few hours before the game. I like to have my stomach a little light before I play. Okay. What you about want all them Skittles in there jingling? It's <laughs> <laughs> like loose change in your ashtray while you're going on a bumpy road. Buffalo Bills defensive back Ronald Darby hanging out with us. The Stoneyard Brewing Company hot seat. So you're not a rookie anymore. You're kind of, you get to go Well, out. I'm still a rookie. I got three more games. Oh, wait, they still count rookie until the regular season starts? Yeah, three games after the be a vet. Who made that rule? Somebody made it. Are you, are you sure they're not lying to you, man? <laughs> no, everybody says it. So you got three more games to go. You still a rookie. But you're not carrying people's pads or anything. Oh, no, I haven't had to do that. But you would do it if they asked you to. Not if, well, <laughs> depending. Come on, man. You, you should have been defensive rookie of the year last year. You got the season under your belt. You don't have to do this stuff anymore. No one asks me to do it. That's the good thing. But hopefully nobody hears this and make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making the younger guys do that stuff for you now? Nah. Not your style? Nah, the guys that came in this year is my age. You know, I came out early, so this is my actual class, so. Right. Well, it's, it's okay. You can still tell them, like, you know, I've been here a year. I played really well last year carrying my stuff for me. Well, the worst I did is they had the barber inside the dorm, and then I went up there and cut in front of all of them to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst I did. But Wait, I, I'm not you got a haircut? No, I'm talking about like shit. Oh, okay. You know, I got to say, because you got to keep it fresh. Well, I just say that Barbara did a really crappy job. <laughs> you missed a whole bunch of your head. <laughs> I mean, I could have shaved you there. You know, one line across your forehead, you're done. Give me 20 bucks. Oh. I'm a bag of skills. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bills defensive back, Ronald Darby, hanging out with us. So you had an off day the other day, and we're all hanging around. I see, you know, all the cars coming off campus, the tinted windows, the expensive rides. Yeah. What'd you go do when you had the day off? Uh, was it two days ago? Uh, what did we do? We went to go eat. We went to go eat at this at this one restaurant. I can't remember the name. And then we stepped out downtown Rochester just to check it out. I went to this club called 
I can't even remember the name. <laughs> 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 but you had a good time. Yeah, it was okay. That's it cool. Was a nice time. So, I mean, are you guys able to like cut loose while you're here? I mean, because I know you got practice the next day. You can't go get too crazy. Uh, yeah, you could really like. I want to say cut loose, but you know, after the night practices, we had the next day off. So the night practice on the Saturday, a lot of people either go back to Buffalo or some people just stay here and go downtown Rochester to go hang out a little bit. And then we got Sunday off. Then we got to get back to work. Monday. And you're all jacked up on Skittles anyway, so where are you going? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't have to drink or nothing. I yeah. can eat Skittles. <laughs> my sugar rush. I'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, now you come in here, not a lot of people know who you are last season, right? Second round pick, Ronald Darby, nah. Preseason one's fantastic. Oh, we made a mistake. And now you have that amazing season last year. Everybody knows who you are. Are you having a hard time moving around Buffalo, Rochester now? I mean, are people stopping you? They know who you are? Uh, somewhat. You know, it's not as bad as the offensive players. You know, offense sell tickets. But, like, people do stop you. Like, I got stopped uh, downtown when I was there. A few days ago, guy came up and said, we got the same last name. Can I take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> and I only want to do that because once you take a picture with one person, oh, that's yeah. when everyone start coming up. But, like, the worst thing that happened Saturday, though, is, like, not to throw race into it. I can understand if white people mix you up. Okay. But a black person mixed me up. <laughs> I was I felt offended. Like, he came Wait, up. So, uh, <laughs> A brother walked up to you and said, oh. Like, he came up to me and was like, yeah, my favorite player. So, from there, I'm like, all right, I ain't a lot of people's favorite player. I know he confusing me. <laughs> Did so, you straight him out? No, I was just listening because I didn't want to be like, who am I? And then he tell me, then I feel bad. Right. So, he got me when he was like, yeah, man, <laughs> Clemson all day. Right when he said that, I said, I knew he thought I was Sam. <laughs> I just walked off in the middle of the picture. I said, I am not Wait, you can't stand him up like that. It's, he didn't I know. I got to. Come on, Ron. It's a community, man. Wait a minute. You Hold can. on. He's absolutely right. Hold on. Wait, I wait, mean, wait, but, wait, I, wait. but I, you can't pretend to be somebody else. You can, though. Ron, nobody would have held it against you. All right, no, but, a, but, a, but, a, but a brother should know what another brother is, man. Here's the thing. <laughs> man, they, come that's, on. What I, that's all I'm trying I to mean, say. I mean... I'm not in the community, but at least I know that much. Uh, I thank mean, you for clearing that so up. Know, thank yeah. you for letting us know you're not <laughs> a black guy. One autistic guy shows up and goes, oh, yeah, I'm confused. Ronald Darby, Buffalo Bills defensive back, hanging out in the Stone Yard Brewing Company hot seat. We talked to James Wilder Jr. the other day. Uh -huh. He got confused for Tyrod Taylor. Happened at the tops. <laughs> but, like, here's the thing. He said, like, he told the guy, too, I'm not Tyrod. Like, is it a pride thing when they confuse you with Sammy? Because you could have taken that picture. Nobody would have known. It would have made the guy's day. Everything would have been fine. Is it something in you that wouldn't let you take that picture? Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Like, I got confused a lot last year before, like, I actually started playing. And then as the season went on, it got better. Like, you know, now I barely ever hear Sammy. <laughs> but for him to just bring it back. It hurts. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of hurt. Yeah. All right, I and that. I don't know how they confused Ty, uh, James with Tyrod, like. Well, he's like 6'4". And he's swole. Like, Tyrod ain't put together like that. Uh, could you, Tommy doesn't get that. Could you explain I know what swole is. What's swole? No, he's ripped. ripped. He's jacked. Okay. It's my 10th <laughs> <my take laughs> year here. You don't think I've heard swole before? Well, I'm, I'm trying to help you out, buddy. By the way, that's an old Southern term. I'm just, well, bro, you're wearing a company logoed pullover you got for free. I'm just trying I don't to see how <laughs> I don't want you to see how swole I am. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bills defensive back, Ronald Darby hanging out with us. All right, so this is it, right? Sophomore season, you're coming out party. You, Steph Gilmore, shutting it down on both sides. You've been out there with the D. I know there's been some injuries. How you feeling about everything? Uh, I feel real good, to be honest. Like, it's my second year in the defense. I understand everything. Meeting's not as hard no more because I really know all the plays. So now it's just learning other positions. Now I'm trying to learn where my help going to be at when I could do certain things and, like, just communicating better with the guys in the back of me. And I got, you know, A-Dub back, Aaron Williams back, so he helping out a lot. And it's just I feel I feel real good about the defense. You know, before I let you go, you bring up Aaron Williams. We had him on the show the other day, and we were asking him, and I know he's sick of answering these questions about his neck. And, but when you watch a guy like that go through what he did, and that's your second NFL game you watch that happen, yeah. that injury. What goes through your head? I mean, does it bring it home like, okay, this could happen at any second? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I had a guy at Florida State that had a spinal problem, uh, Tyler Hunter. So I see, I see a lot, you know, seen a lot of injuries. But the way he bounced back, like, tremendous. Like, it's good to have him back. Like, he helps a lot.
All right, Ronald Darby, Buffalo Bills defensive back, Stone Yard Brewing Company, hot seat. Love Skittles. Don't call him Sammy. I can't believe he walked away from that guy. I, I had to. <laughs> you should you should have taken the picture and then let his buddies criticize him later when he showed him and was like, "Hey, I took a picture with Sammy," and they're like, "Bro, that's not Sammy." Yeah, that could have worked. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking like that at the time. Oh, uh, Rhonda, say thank you for coming and hanging out with us. We got a gift bag from our friends at Invo Coconut Water, the truly fresh cracked coconut water experience. Got the coconut water in there, $50 gift card to Wegmans, so you can go walk Ooh. around there and try and not get mistaken for Sammy Watkins. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Buffalo Bills defensive back, Wild Derby. Have a great rest of the day, man. Thank you. You too. All right.